Hey guys, this is Cam Cape Gaming, and welcome back to a brand new video of Black Desert Mobile. Guys, it is pretty much guaranteed that Class Awakening is going to be here on July 7th, and PA has already made it seem so obvious with all these events. So I'm so excited for it, but I'm sure that many of you guys are still confusing about how does Class Awakening works. So guys, today in this video, I will be showing you how to awaken your character and what is going to happen to your weapon and skills after awakening. Alright guys, let's dive into today's video. Okay guys, so first, if you want to awaken your class, and then you need to be above level 65 according to the Korean server. And I'm not sure if the global server is going to be any different with the Korean version, but anyway, in Korean server, if you want to go from Ascension to Awakening, then you will need to buy this ticket in the Pearl Shop and it costs 100 million silver in the Korean version. Not sure how much it's going to be in the global server. Once the update comes, we'll find out. But once you buy this, you will see a set of quests in your story page over here. Where's the story page? Oh, right here. You'll see a set of quests under this. Like just, it's just gonna be like your ascension quest that you've done. And it's super easy. Just follow the storyline. Will take about three minutes to finish. And once you finish all these quests, you will be able to awaken your character. And guys, for the first time you uh, you awaken your character, your weapon and sub weapon will automatically change to its awakening form. And but guys, you need to be very careful on considering on considering if you want to awaken your character or not. The reason I say this is because. If somehow I awaken my character to Reaper from Raven and I played a little while and realized that I don't like it as much as Raven and I want to change it back to Raven then I will have to buy this thing in the pearl shop and it costs 6,000 white pearls or black pearls which is crazy expensive and all it does is change your character uh, from uh it's change your character from uh awakening to as back to ascending and now i'm not sure if this is going to be how uh, this is how much it's going to cost in the global server but in the korean server this is the price of it so guys make sure are you listening make sure you really consider if you want to awaken your character or not before you do it and because the cost for changing afterward is going to be crazy expensive uh so as long as you can afford it, yeah, you can switch it so many times. But for normal players like us, then we won't be able to have that many white pros and black pros to change your character. So you guys really have to be careful uh, when you're considering or to change your character or class or not. Okay guys, since you guys have to consider if you want to awaken your character or not, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice on each class, whether it's worth it to do awakening or ascension for all of these classes. Okay, so first for warrior, I think uh, berserker is definitely a way better choice than its uh, ascension form. So if I am a warrior player, I will definitely go for berserker and awaken my uh, warrior and next Valkyrie guys if you're a Valkyrie player is this is gonna be a hard choice because it is a 50 50 because half the players said that Paladin is is better than Lancer and half players say Lancer is better than Paladin so it's really depending on your play style if you like a fast uh, aggressive play style then uh, Paladin might be your best option but if you like a uh, slow uh, or like high damage dealing play style then Lancer would be your best option for you okay so next ranger uh guys personally i think huntress is way stronger than white walker just because white walker is so hard to master and huntress is just like still good overall even though after awakening come out so guys if you want to challenge yourself a little bit then you could go for awakening form but i do not suggest you to go to to awaken your character if you are a ranger okay Third, which guys, if you're a witch player, for sure, definitely go to is awakening form because which is ascension form and regular form isn't strong at all in PvP or anything. So, uh, but after the awakening, which is gonna be a pretty decent as a uh, as a class. So definitely, if you're a witch player, go for the awakening form. Okay, four number four. 
destroyer titan and guys that i've heard a lot of things people are saying that about destroyer um giants awakening form destroyer is the best at pvp and i watched a lot of videos about it yeah he does seem like a beast uh, in pvp so if i'm i'm a giant player then i would definitely change my character to destroyer instead of titan okay number five raven and uh, raper okay guys so i personally place raven uh i personally play raven and and i after a while considering i finally decided to change to raper it's just because that uh after the awakening come out everybody is going to most people is going to awaken their class and see raven is pretty good overall but since everybody's changing their class so i'll have to change my play style too and but there's really nothing much i can change after playing for this long so i think for me changing to raper is definitely a better choice for raven and i've heard a lot of people saying that raven is actually uh raper is actually better than raven in pvp and pve so i think that would be the best choice for me okay number six dark knight and darkness this is just like valkyrie it's a 50 50 and People are saying that some half people are saying Void Knight is better than Dark uh, than Darkness, and half people are saying that Darkness is better than Void Knight. And guys, in my uh, opinion, I like both. I mean, I think they're pretty much the same, uh, exact the same on is powerful level. So it, it really depends on what play style do you like. So if you like more AOE range damage, and then you could go for Darkness. But if you like that fast. Uh, speed and uh, play style for dark uh, for void knight then you can stay void knight all right that will be my personal advice for you guys to consider if you want to awaken your character or not but still it really depends on which class is you you find the most fun playing so yeah okay and many of you guys have been asking lately what is going to happen to all my skills after I awaken my character. Now guys, let me answer this for you. And unfortunately, all of your skill will go back to level one after you awaken your character, but your CP skill will stay the same. Like by uh, CP skill, I mean these ones, increase CP, increase AP, DP, HP, and all these stats. And so we, you will need to you will have to level them up again once you awaken your character again i'm not sure if global server is going to be the same with korean uh version but most likely your skills will go back to level one after awakening and and then you have to level them up again but i think there could be some sort of yellow skill book event after this to help the players to level their skills back up or if PA decided to be nice for one time and actually change it to we will able to keep our skill levels then we won't have to worry about it but as right now from what we know in the Korean version your skills will unfortunately go back to level one okay guys another thing about awakening your character is that your weapon will automatically transfer to its awakening form first time only for the first time you're doing it for the second timers or if you want to do it multiple times and then you will have to purchase the weapon exchange coupon in the pro shop so this is another reason guys you need to really be careful on um, considering to change your class to awakening or not all right guys that will pretty much be it for all you need to awaken uh to prepare for your uh for awakening coming but personally i am definitely going to change uh my raven to raper because i've been playing raven for so long and to be honest it's kind of started getting bored i just want to change something up and from all the informations i learned that i heard that raven is actually a little bit stronger than raper overall on pvp wise and or, or pve so once the awakening come out i will definitely make a video on that later on all right please leave a like on this video and comment down below to let me know what you guys think about class awakening and if you want to see more up to date black guys and mobile content then please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button i will see you guys in the next video peace